always a kind of a, uh, like in the first moment of the Tchaikovsky, you have a place like goes... Uh, Now this, no matter how well one plays that, that never lies well. It never lies well. Now, a Paganini concerto, for example, uh, where you have... You know, that also is a very, very difficult uh, spot, but somehow it's more comfortable. Uh, at least, to me, it is more comfortable. In the final analysis, each hand has its own sort of strengths and weaknesses. And, you know, if I were to talk about something, I said, oh, this passage for me is very, very easy. My friend would say, well, no, for me that's impossible. But the other one is easy, and for me that's impossible. In other words, it's all individual. And because all, not all the hands are the same. In my case, my hand is rather large for a violinist. So whenever I go up, on top of the violin, the spaces, you know, as you go up on top of the violin, the space becomes smaller, you know, with my big fat fingers, you know, and I have to struggle harder for, you know, but if you have somebody that has a hand that's a bit, you know, smaller, much more, much more, uh, much easier to maneuver up here. You know, sometimes I put a finger here and then I have to put actually a finger on top of the finger so that I could actually get to my space because all the spaces here are so minute, so small. The difference between two tones here, you go, see you have, you see the space right here? But if I play this all the way up, it will go, see? See, already my, my fingers are already, already much more together, but yet the two tones are exactly the same. But as it goes up, the space becomes smaller and then I become very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs>